Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the TCX RT Race Boots. Often you have to compromise quite a bit on comfort to get a high level of protection from boots, but with these I don't think that's the case. The TCX RT Race Boots have been around for quite a while now and I've found they deliver both comfort and protection at the same time. The upper on these boots is made from a tough microfiber material that's reinforced with plastic cups for the toes and the heels and then there's a plastic wrap around shin guard. There's a plastic overlaid gear shift protector that takes the sting out of any stiff gear changes and then there's a suede like material on the inner surface that gives better grip against the inner surface of your bike. The toe sliders they're plastic but they seem pretty durable and the mounting screw is around the front of the boot where it sits in a recess so you shouldn't have any trouble removing a worn slider. But the real standout piece of protection on these boots comes from the ankle bracing. It's this rigid structure that encases the ankle and it only allows it to flex on its natural path. So when you want to change gear or you want to walk, you get that motion. But if you have an accident, it won't allow your ankle to flex laterally, which helps you avoid ankle injuries. It's able to pivot at both the calf and the heel for good flexibility and it's actually surprisingly comfortable. Sometimes braces like this feel very restrictive when you're walking around. This one doesn't feel like that, and it also doesn't cause me any rubbing issues against my ankle, which other boots have. These boots open up pretty wide, actually, thanks to the zip opening. I wore the same size that I would normally, and it was a bit of a tight squeeze to get my feet in there, but once they were in, the boots were very comfortable. So to fasten them up, there are three stages to that. This speed lace system pulls the inner section of the boot tight and holds it in place around your ankle. Then you do the zip back up, and then finally there's this toothed clasp around the top. These aren't the speediest boots to put on, but I spent quite a bit of time in a couple of different pairs and now it takes me about 30 seconds to put on both boots. So let's look at what's inside these boots. There's a mesh lining to help with heat management and it's got a soft insole as well that can be taken out and replaced. You can also see the CE label here that shows that these boots pass the most recent tests at the higher level two for resistance to abrasion and cuts as well as height. And then they meet the lower level one for transverse rigidity. Now, I find that quite surprising as the soles on these boots feel stiff and they give good feedback on the pegs. So the performance in that test doesn't actually cause me any particular concern. This is the second pair of RT race boots I've worn and overall I've done over a thousand miles on both road and track. These feel reassuringly solid in both road and track and give the feedback I need to move around on the bike, which is especially important on track. I wore them both over a leather race suit and under some denim jeans and they were comfortable either way. Sometimes the top edge of a race boot is uncomfortable when it's worn against the skin, but that wasn't the case with these. They are relatively bulky around the top, around the calf, so fitting them under denims was tricky, but I was able to manage it. The soles are stiff, like I said, which is how I like my boots to be, but the insoles have a good level of squish, so they're really comfortable to wear off the bike as well. They're not particularly well ventilated though, I have to say. There are some small mesh panels on the shin, but they can get pretty warm on the inside. I wore these, on track when it was in the low to mid 20 degrees and my feet were pretty warm afterwards although I have to say I didn't really notice that while I was riding. So if you're looking to ride in red hot temperatures all the time then I'd say a pair of TCX's RT Race Pro Air boots which have perforated uppers might be a better bet. In terms of customer feedback 26 customers have left reviews of these boots and 23 of those people gave the boots the maximum five stars. So if there are any issues that crop up regularly some people say the sizing comes up small Personally, I wore the same size as I do in virtually all other shoes and boots, but they are snug fitting. So people who prefer a looser fit or want to leave some room for thick socks will probably want to go up a size. The other thing that comes through from those reviews is the squeaking noise. The plastic on the Achilles section of these boots does make a noise as it moves within its housing. Really, that's just par for the course on a boot like this. So if you can get your hands on a pot of silicon oil, it's the sort of stuff that comes with showy or an arai lids, then a smear of that on the bracing will lubricate that and alleviate the squeak. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the TCX RT race boots, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.